the export version of Russia's Su-57, 5th generation multi-role fighter, will be unveiled for the first time at the Army 2020 International Military and Technical Forum. It has been organized by the Russian Defense Ministry and will be held from August 23 to 29 at the Russian Armed Forces Patriot Congress and Exhibition Center. Reported by TASS, Russia's leading news agency. The Su-57E, export version of the fifth-generation fighter, will be demonstrated for the first time at the Army Forum and will also take to the skies under the flight program. The spectators at the forum will also witness flights of a MiG-35 light multi-role fighter, a Ka-52, reconnaissance and attack helicopter, and an upgraded Ka-27M deck-based gunship. The Su-57 took its first flight in 2010. This fighter jet is designed to have supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and advanced avionics to overcome the prior generation fighter aircraft as well as ground and naval defenses. Last year, Russia deployed pairs of Su-57s to Syria for what it claimed were combat trials. However, there's no evidence to prove that the fighters actually participated in frontline missions. The report didn't specify the place and date of the experiment and also failed to describe what real combat conditions meant. The fighter aircraft features stealth technology with the broad use of composite materials is capable of developing supersonic cruising speed and is furnished with the most advanced onboard radio electronic equipment, including a powerful onboard computer, the so-called electronic second pilot. The radar system spread across its body and some other innovations, in particular, armament placed inside its fuselage. It is designed to destroy all types of air, ground, and naval targets. India has shown some interest in Russia's Su-57, next-generation heavyweight fighter. Although, with the aircraft having yet to enter service in the Russian Air Force, New Delhi is likely to wait and assess its performance before making any commitments. But there is a possibility that India could seriously consider exploring an initial batch of Su-57 jets from Russia to evaluate their capabilities before entering into a contract for joint production. Additionally, to counter Chinese build-up in the Ladakh region and to challenge their J-20 stealth jets. You never know if the Modi government could make a surprise move. This would be consistent with its acquisition strategy for the Su-30. As before the joint manufacturing of the Su-30 MKI, India purchased and evaluated the Su-30K from Russia. The capabilities of the jointly manufactured Su-30 MKI variant were far superior to the Su-30K. But operating the jet familiarized the Indian Air Force with the airframe and its performance limitations, much as Su-57 could do to proceed a joint next-generation program.